So after I made this little intro map here, I got an obscene amount of requests on how to do the weathering effects that are done in this map. We have rain in the middle, and every now and then we get a nice little flash of lightning in the background. And a cloudy sky makes for a perfect storm. And that's what we're going to teach you today in this tutorial. Hi, welcome to the 46 Hammer Tutorial. This one is going to be on some simple weathering effects. Um, so, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to start with is rain. Putting rain in your level. So, to do this, you need to browse for trigger. And now, wherever you want rain to be, you need to create a brush with this trigger tool. And once that brush is created, you want to make sure that you shrink it down a little bit. And you don't want it to be on any inside areas if you can. The source engine does its best to prevent water from running through brushes, but sometimes it doesn't do a good job. <coughs> so now you want to press Ctrl T, and you want to make it a funk precipitation. Just apply, and you can name it whatever you want, it's cool. Density is 0 through 100%. I'm a fan of 75. And then precip precipitation type. There's rain, snow, ash, and snowfall. From my experience, I've never gotten snow to work. And ash is has a mis missing texture, so pretty much it's just rain and snowfall. I'm going to do rain, click apply. And that's rain in our level in a nutshell. But with rain comes clouds. So, the other with way to make a convincing rainstorm is you need a skybox. The easiest way to find a skybox is do a search for skybox and then you'll see everything in skybox slash. Then just look through here for skybox that you want to use. I'm a fan of this one. So sky day underscore nine. Sky day nine. Okay. So after you found the sky texture that you want, you want to make sure that you copy its name down in full. And it will be this front little part here. It'll be that. And then you want to paste that into map, map properties, and skybox texture name. <coughs> then deselect your entire map. Now, that's just the 2D skybox. In your 3D skybox, there's a couple more things that you can add to make it convincing rainstorm. So, in your 3D skybox, if you have one, create an entity and make it a prop static and do a search for cloud. And inside here, after it counts all the models, we will get if you focus your camera from underneath, you'll see a whole bunch of models that look like domes that are made that look like a cloud texture. These are good if you team two of them up together and you rotate them a little bit. So, office and tides actually work pretty well together. So I'm going to do office clouds. Then, you want to place it in your 3D skybox above the entire map. And you really don't want it to clip into any brush that you have. Then you want to hold shift drag it up a notch and then change its model to the other one and then rotate it just a bit now select them both and go to the options and under disable shadows select yes now that's that now if you want to kick this up a notch you can do lightning 
Now there's a couple different ways to do lightning. I'm going to do the easiest with lights. So the first thing you need to do is create an entity and make it be light. And you just want it to be light. That's it. And you need to name it something. So typically lightning is a good name. Under brightness, now lightning isn't exactly white. It's more, it's a little more teal or yellowish. So choose a color and then kind of tint it at just a wee bit. And now you have RGBI, red, green, blue intensity. Now a good starting point for your intensity for lightning is about 10,000. You're going to want to change it, raise and lower it, depending on what you want. But I'm going to stick with 10,000. And now under flags, you want initially dark to be checked. This will have the light start off. Now we need to have something trigger the lightning. The easiest way to do that is on a logic timer. And choose a minimum random interval. About 8 is good. And then 16, depending on how much lightning you want. This will be in between there. And then you want to select use random time, yes. And then go to outputs, add, on timer lightning turn on then copy and paste it and then you want to turn the lightning off after 0.1 seconds so it's on for a total of 0.1 seconds now you want to copy your light and you need to, need to place it in areas of the map where it will be used so typically like I have trees here so I want the lightning to be cast in front of these trees. So I need to put it in front of the trees. You don't need to go crazy with this. You just need to place it. Just a couple's fine. And then also you will want to place one in your 3D sky box. And then bring it down a bit so it will hit everything. And center it. Now. now I'm just going to compile this, and I'll see you in Counter-Strike. So now we're going to want to go ahead and load up our map here. And our level loads up and we have our rain. And there's our thunder. With the lightning effect. You can see at the top of the screen, behind the trees, we have the cloud effects. You can't really see the skybox, but it does fit. The lightning can be a bit too bright if you don't fiddle with it a little bit. And it might be a little too fast. So with some minor adjustments, the lightning can become a convincing, realistic thunderstorm in any situation. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.